It's not. Hello. Today's video is a guided tour in my backpack that I'll be living out of for the next few months. Back when I first started planning this trip, I scoured the internet looking for packing guides like this one, and I found a few, and they were really helpful to me. So I'm hoping that this will be able to help someone else in turn. All right, let's get started. First up, we have the backpack, probably the most essential item in a backpack. It's a uh, Tom Bean 25 liter. It's very nice. I like it. You could probably find a cheaper one, but so far it's served me well. All right, so let's start filling. First thing, flip-flops for beaches and more importantly, showers, staying at hostels and things like that. Just all around good to have. I shove these down into the very bottom. Next up, this backpack has a nice little thing built in sleeve for a MacBook. I can't show you me putting that away because that's what I'm using to record this. It always looks a little funny just hanging out like this. It makes me think of those like sea cucumbers that launch their stomach as an attack. That's what my backpack makes me think. Alright, next up, clothes. These are vacuum sealed bags, one for dirty, one for clean. I have in here three pairs of underwear, two extra pairs of socks, which makes three, given the uh, ones I'm wearing. Four t-shirts, and this button t-shirt I'm wearing. Oh, and a swimsuit. That's all that's in here. That's all I think I need. We'll see. And then I've got this little packing cube that I've been shoving these into. With the bags, I don't know if the cube is really necessary. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because it takes some time. Alright, so there's that. And then the bottom here, we've got a couple neat things. This is a wool buff, is what it's called. It's basically just a tube, but you put it on and it can be a scarf if it's cold. Do this if it's really cold. Maybe a sleeping aid or a ninja practice tool. It's all around, multi-purpose, good to have. And it takes up almost no space, so there you go. Here I have my travel towel. I'm not going to unfold this because it's a little big, but it's uh, look at the actual thing. See to summit. It's good. Very lightweight, dries quickly, very absorbent. So that's the bottom pouch. All right. Uh, this side pouch is for electronics and other related things. This is not electronic, this is a pen, but it has a nice little pen holder, so it's nice to have pens. Here we've got, this is a handy dandy little thing. It is a outlet converter on the back. You can plug in any kind of plug and then extend out all the different kinds of outlets. American. Uh, I did bring a little HDMI cable for taking over any TVs I want to take over. You know, could come in handy. Headphones. USB charging cable. MacBook charging cable. Close that up. Here we have medicine, health, toiletries kind of thing. First up, my inhaler, which I don't need very often, but when you need it, you need it. Um, then I've got my non-essential toiletries bag, which here we've got some Advil, some Benadryl, some diarrhea medicine, just general first aid kind of medicine. I haven't had to open it up yet, but someday I might. A couple wet naps. Basic hygiene. Here I've got my beard trimmer and plug for it, which might be about time to use again. Let's see. Oh. 
earplugs. I have another set. I know they're somewhere in here. This doesn't normally happen. Here we have the essentials kit. Toothbrush, toothpaste, airbrush. I might need to get soap, but they have stores. Here. Oh, I forgot to unpack this. Um, man. Alright. Here I have my headlamp. Very nice tool for reading and walking around. It's got a red light feature, so you don't use up your night vision. Lock. So I can, you know close lockers and stuff, or with this little steel cable, I can just wrap it around the straps of my backpack and lock it to something. You know, obviously they could just cut through the straps of the backpack if they really want to steal it, but it would stop someone from just grabbing it and running away with it. They'd probably grab the one that's not locked to something instead. Or maybe they think that's, that one's locked to something, it's probably got something valuable in there, should do that. Uh, this is just another photo ID I have in the backpack in case my wallet gets stolen and my other thing gets stolen. I've got, uh, I've got like a little leather pouch that hooks to your belt, and goes inside your pants, so that that's where my passport is in case I get robbed. This is a little thing family gave to me, just in case of emergency. It's got contact info of people. Yeah, just throw that in there. In here, let's see, what we've got this is the. Pointed Travel Dictionary, which will hopefully be useful, it is just a bunch of pictures of things so that you can point at them when you don't know the language or the word for it. You know, you can say, give me cheese. Give me a hint. Little notebook and pen, make notes in, write down ideas, that sort of thing. Here we've got a chess set. The most important item on the trip, uh, besides the backpack, my Kindle. It's probably where all my time has gone so far. Very nice to have. Alright, and then in here, so inside here, we've got the laptop, sandals in the bottom, I mean flip-flops, clothes, but then there's this little extra pouch here. And there I put some really non-essential things. So this is a recorder. I've been trying to learn it because I am in fifth grade, apparently, because I'm bad at music, but I'd like to be better. And it's quite portable and nice. And I like the sound. I can play Song of Storms. Kind of. Uh, these I really don't know if I'll need. The internet said... They're good to have, so I have them. This is a door jam. Shove under the door, get a little privacy if there's no lock. And this is a silk liner. It's kind of like a sheet sleeping bag. Not for staying outside, but if you're in a place with no sheets or sheets you don't want to use for one reason or another, you can just crawl up into this. And then let's see. Emergency poncho, just threw in there. The one thing I am missing and do need to get is a rain jacket. I'm hoping to buy that in England. I uh, forgot to get that on the way. And this is proof that I have traveler's insurance. You should probably get traveler's insurance if you're going to do something like this. Good thing to have. All right, so the exception of the laptop, which is you, that's it. That's the whole thing. Fits in there, and I think it'll last me the long haul. And then, let's see, I've got my wallet. I've got the Lumia 1020 camera phone. It's not so much a phone that is a camera as it is a camera that is a phone. So, take some pretty pictures. Alright, that's just about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope someone out there gets some use out of this video. 
The next video will probably be a summary of my cruise, the things I've learned about it, but I've still got a week of that left, so the video is going to have to wait. Goodbye for now.